Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss subclass of beta-lactam antibiotic and which is cephalosporins. In this video, we discuss in detail about the classification of cephalosporins. Cephalosporins are classified on the basis of spectrum of antimicrobial activity into several generation like it can be classified as first generation cephalosporins, second generation cephalosporins, third generation cephalosporins, fourth generation cephalosporins and fifth generation cephalosporins. So all these several generation which depends upon its spectrum of antimicrobial activity. Let's begin with the first generation cephalosporins. First generation cephalosporins have broad spectrum of activity and having low toxicity. They are very active against gram positive cocci such as pneumococci, streptococci, staphylococci. They are effective against gram negative rods also. They are also active against anaerobes like peptococcus and streptococcus but ineffective against bacteroids fragilis. First generation cephalosporins cannot cross blood brain barrier. Examples are cephalexine, cephadroxyl, cephradine, cephalothene, cephacitrile, cephazoline, cephapyrin. So you have to remember all these first generation cephalosporins which starts with the letter C E P H A. Exception like cephadroxyl and cephazoline. So you have to remember accordingly if the starting of these cephalosporins is with letters C E P H A means which is come under first generation cephalosporin. Moving to the second generation cephalosporins, they are active against gram negative bacteria and less active against gram positive bacteria than first generation cephalosporins. They are heterogeneous groups of antibiotics with different antimicrobial activity. Examples like cefaclor, cefamandol, cefiroxime, lorac-carbef. So you have to remember the letters in this second generation cephalosporins which starts from CEF. There are other examples like cefoxithin, cefoxithin and siphonicide. All are starts with the letter CEF, uh, exception like Lora, Carbef, which are starts from L. So remember that and about this second generation cephalosporins examples. Moving to the third generation cephalosporins. These third generation cephalosporins are less active than first generation cephalosporins against gram positive bacteria but have a much expanded spectrum of activity against gram negative microorganisms. They are usually used in treatment of sepsis of unknown origin. All third generation cephalosporin except cefoperoxone and cefixime can cross blood brain barrier and therefore used to treat meningitis. Example like cefotoxime, ciftizoxime, ciftazidim, ciftrioxone, cefoperoxone, moxalactone. So in this it starts with CEF but which are ending with IME or ONE letters. We have just now seen in case of second generation cephalosporins which are also start with CEF but in case of third generation cephalosporins which, which starts with CEF but ends with IME or ONE letters. Exception is moxalactam which starts from M. Moving to the fourth generation cephalosporins which have a extended gram negative coverage and they have increased activity against streptococci. Examples are cefipime, cefpyrome and you have to remember 
it having a presence of letters pi so with this you can easily remember the generation of that cephalosporin fifth generation cephalosporins which are extended cephalosporin with extended spectrum of activities example cephtobiprol ceftriaxel so all these are classification which are depending upon its spectrum of activity but next way of classification is based on their route of administration like we can divide cephalosporin we classify these which are administered by oral route of administration so we can say oral cephalosporins example cephalexin cefadroxil cefaclor cefprozil whereas the cephalosporins which are administered by parenteral route are parenteral cephalosporins examples are cefalothin cefazolin cefamandol cefoxithin and there are the one example which can be administered by both oral as well as by parenteral route and example is cefradine so you have to remember that this cefradine which can be administered by oral as well as by parenteral route so here we discuss about the classification of cephalosporins and how to remember their generation with some tricks so i think all of you getting this thank you and happy learning